is Julie. Welcome to my channel. You're watching Treasures Made From Yarn. And this is just a video that is part of my Christmas in July series. Well, I had a list. My list is MIA. I have no idea what happened to this list. I'm sure it's floating somewhere in my studio somewhere. So, I want to give a shout out to K and K Crochet. They are doing their Christmas extravaganza, which they're featuring a pattern every day. And one of the patterns they had featured were my slipper pattern. These are my original slippers I had done a photo of when I wrote out my blog post. I wrote initially as a blog post rat pattern. And I think I just did the video one to two years ago. The original blog post was back in, shoot, let's go look it up, 2011, 2012, that time frame. And surprisingly, it became a very, one of my most popular written patterns. And yeah, I can, yeah, these are, I didn't realize, I guess one of the yarns I was using, I realized was a natural wool. And it, yeah, I felt it when I threw it in the wash, so. But yeah, these are my these are my original slippers, which I do occasionally wear. But yeah, surprisingly, how well these slippers did. But then can might be not surprisingly because they're squishy. I mean, they might be the most com actually. The uh, I I I linked the pattern to uh, all free crochet. Um, all free crochet. If you have not seen that site, all free crochet has all sorts of free crochet patterns. If you're looking for those. Anyway, they had renamed it to most comfortable slipper ever. You know, like the, or the, something like the most comfortable slippers. Yeah, and it's been very popular. Very popular pattern. So again, thanks again for promoting this pattern. I will definitely leave the link for these slippers in the description. So another... Now the written pattern didn't did okay, but surprisingly when I did the video for this pattern, it surprisingly did well too. It's one of my other popular patterns. And I know, I know you guys have extras of these floating around. I'm sure you do. CDs you're not using. These are all computer. I don't even know Cox exists anymore. <laughs> I think they were bought out by Spectrum maybe. Or, or Dell. Yeah, you must have old CDs somewhere. Well, you can not throw those CDs away and make a CD coaster with them. Surprisingly, again, these were the, these are the coasters I made. I made these coasters on video or one of these on video. And yeah, surprisingly again, a, a rather popular pattern because I'll bet you guys have a whole bunch of CDs and you can turn them into coasters. The only downside is be careful with these. I have had a few CDs break on me because of abuse, but you know what? If you break a CD, just pop another one in. <laughs> I'm sure you have a bunch. So yeah, yeah, that was the pattern I, I wanted to feature this week. I think these could probably make a good gift. Make a set of four and use up some of those CDs that you're not using. So that is all I have for this video. If you did like this video, please give it a like. Want to check out more Christmas content and go check out k, &K Crochet for their Christmas extravaganza. I totally forgot to mention about this poncho that I'm wearing. I made this for last Christmas it is with the Hobies the Christmas Universe yarn, which I, I don't think you can get that anymore. I think I tried the link and the link was no good. So I think this, I don't think you can get this, but yeah, I think you can get, still get Hobie Universe. It's a size one yarn. So yeah, I wanted to show, show off the poncho. All right, sorry, that is for real all I have. If you did, again, like this video, please give it a like. I wanna see more crazy content like this please subscribe to my channel and I want to thank you always for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.